Hi guys, today we'll be analyzing the gold asset, particularly here we see the future, June 2020. Uh, what we see here in the upper section, we see the price uh, with uh, horizontal resistances and uh, support and oblique uh, support and resistances, while beneath we have the channel, my channel derived by the hearts bands and beneath also we have another indicator created based on some weighted oscillator so what we see here is that the price is trying to work the 1770 points area threshold um, so what is telling uh, the analysis of this indicator actually there is space at least to reach the upper band till 1840 points and also the two bands are positively oriented okay so, which means the derivatives are above the zero and is an extremely bullish signal also the other indicator is pointing out okay so it's positive as we can see here the fast uh, um, oscillator is crossing above the uh, longer one which means the slowest one this is the daily chart i i would like to uh, to, to switch to the monthly chart in order to check the uh, long-term uh, view for the uh, gold. And here it's really interesting since we see that the indicator as well is positive. So we have a situation, a scenario where both the daily and the monthly chart are positive. And as you can see here, the uh, fast uh, oscillator is above the the lowest one which is an extremely bullish signal and let's see how this indicator worked in the past as you can see here we retrieved a long signal in 2001 uh, to be covered in uh, 2012 so 11 years so okay again this is a monthly indicator as you can see here this the the indicator gave us a signal at $460 to go out around uh, in this area, so $1,800 US dollars. So, with um, actually, this signal seems to be extremely valid in order to uh, retrieve, which will be the long term trend. Same for uh, same here, as we can see here, um, the this indicator derived by the heart bands is pointing upwards okay so the derivatives is above the zero as you can see every time the last time that this indicator was pointing uh, upwards we've seen an extremely valid movement upwards of course this is a monthly chart which so that means that we should change the volatility asset uh, the volatility parameter for this uh, uh, this uh, indicator Again, the long-term trend is extremely positive, so um, we should be confident in uh, buying gold rather than buying the stocks at this moment. In this moment, and as well, uh, the fact that um, I have this bullish um, uh, scenario in here in front of me for the gold is an extremely uh, important signal that the stock market might might have hit the top for uh, for the medium and long term so where i see the target i see here at least 2000 so actually it's clear how the gold is going to test the previous high around 2000 us dollar so let's move to the to check another kind of analysis again another kind of ama bands as well here with the gold futures 2020 for june and again here what we see the daily chart here we have a cycles okay and the red one is pointing upwards as well here the ma bands they are telling us the first target will be around this area so 1881 okay uh, but again i'm extremely positive let's see the monthly chart and uh, uh, here the cycle are telling us okay as you can see here the cycles the azul and the red one are still pointing upwards Okay, which is an extremely positive signal. So guys, uh, I'm really uh, happy to give you this signal. I see that uh, gold has an, in an incredible potential okay, to, to go up. So every retracement could be a great idea to trigger along. Thank you guys.